Hello YouTubers. I got bored today and looked at some videos of Lid Motor and Lucid Science making some new Newman motors I think they're called. And I slapped this thing together. I didn't prototype it. I didn't check the distance between the coils to make sure that was optimum. I didn't try to figure out exactly which size magnet would work best. Uh, this is the uh, one transistor circuit. I think uh, Lucid Science and Lid Motor both used this in the past. This, I think, is one of those special 12 volt batteries. I put a meter on it before I plugged it in. It was only showing 9 volts. Probably low current, probably an old thing that's wearing down. Uh, the thing I couldn't get this thing to do good was uh, keep the center balance. It kept wanting to slowly slide one way or the other. So being how it wanted to slowly slide backwards, I put this little gizmo here just to stop the needle to keep the magnet centered. So if you look down at the magnet, it looks like it's going pretty fast. But if you look at the propeller, this has got to be one of the slowest motors I've ever built. That's not to say that this design can't run really fast. I just didn't design this one that great today. I just figured I'd put it together and see if it worked. What was surprising though, uh, this little uh, power cord from the battery, the last thing I did is put that in. As soon as I put it in, the thing started turning. So that was good. At least it worked. But uh, again, not that fast, not that great, but it's, you know, just took a couple of those synchronous coils, uh, used their spacer to kind of put a space in there, used some popsicle sticks that I cut off and drilled a hole in. So I got uh, two popsicle sticks with a little hole in them. And the needle going through there probably has a lot of friction. Maybe that's one of the reasons it's not spinning faster. But anyway, that's the mess I've been up to today.